Smile and learn. Hello, friends. Today we're going to learn how to find the least common multiple. To understand what this term means, first we need to review what multiples are. A multiple is the product of a number multiplied by any other whole number. Let's see an example. 10 is a multiple of 2 because 2 times 5 is 10. 15 is a multiple of 3 because if we multiply 3 times 5, the product is 15. We use multiples all the time in math. They're super important. So what is the least common multiple? The least common multiple of two numbers is the smallest multiple that those numbers have in common. There are many different ways of finding the least common multiple. One of these ways is comparing the first few multiples of certain numbers. For example, Let's multiply some numbers by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and we'll write them down as we go. Then, we'll identify the smallest multiple they have in common. Come on, let's take a look at that example. We're going to find the least common multiple of 2 and 8. Let's start by writing down the multiples of 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. This will do. Now let's calculate the multiples of 8 and write them down below the multiples of 2 to compare them. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40. I think that should be enough. Now that we have the multiples of these two numbers, we can see which is the smallest multiple they have in common. Here we have the least common multiple of 2 and 8. See? The number 8 is the smallest multiple that these two numbers share. Finding the least common multiple of these two numbers is easy because they are small numbers. However, there is another way to calculate the least common multiple that will help us if we have to work with larger numbers. It's called the common division method. The common division method is a simple method used to find the lowest common multiple between two or more numbers. In this method, we divide the numbers by common prime numbers. We'll look at an example in a second. But first, do you remember what a prime number is? Prime numbers can only be divided evenly by themselves and the number one. Some prime numbers include 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and I'm going to stop there because I could keep going forever. Here's an example. We're going to find the least common multiple for numbers 50 and 75. We begin by writing the numbers separated by a comma. Then we draw a line to the left of the first number and then under both. Now we have to think of the smallest prime number that is a common factor of 50 and 75 and that will divide into them equally without a remainder. This number is called a prime factor. Since 75 is an odd number and it is not divisible by two, we continue. What about three? 50 is not divisible by three. The next prime number is five. Yes, five works. We write five to the left of the two numbers and divide. 50 divided by five is 10, and 75 divided by 5 is 15. We write each quotient below the corresponding number and we separate them with a comma. Since we can divide 10 and 15 further, we continue. What is the smallest prime number that goes into 10 and 15? I think you know this. 5! That's right. We write 5 again to the left of the two numbers and divide again. 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. We write each quotient below the corresponding number. Since 2 and 3 cannot be divided by a common prime number, and they are also prime numbers, we stop dividing there. But we aren't quite finished yet. 
Now we calculate the least common multiple by multiplying 5 times 5 times 2 times 3, or 5 squared times 2 times 3. The answer is 150. 150 is the lowest common multiple for 50 and 75. Cool, huh? That's all for today, everybody. I hope this helps you solve future math problems. See you soon. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.